the mm. environmental movement. McDonald's has announced it will eliminate the plastic foam containers it uses to package its Big Macs and other sandwiches. It's a major change in policy for the nation's largest fast food chain, which only last April said it had no plans to move away from plastic packaging. Here's ABC's Bob Jamison. For two years, as a growing number of communities banned polystyrene packaging, McDonald's vigorously defended using the plastic foam containers. McDonald's, which serves 22 million meals a day and is the fast food industry's biggest user of plastic foam, claimed there was no conclusive proof polystyrene is environmentally unsafe. But environmental groups argued the manufacturing process produces toxic pollution and that chemicals used to make the foam deplete the ozone layer. Environmentalists also complained about the garbage produced. Eating a meal takes only minutes, but the foam containers take decades to break down in a landfill. Three months ago, the Environmental Defense Fund began working with McDonald's to change its mind about plastic foam and hailed today's announcement as a watershed. It could be the beginning of uh, corporate America seeing that the future is green and realizing that environmental groups can help show them the way. Initially, the company will replace only its sandwich containers, accounting for 75% of its foam packaging. McDonald's officials said their customers were also expressing concern about the containers. So we did it for the good earth, and we did it for our customers, and we did it for ourselves. Would you have done this if the Environmental Defense Fund had not pushed you in this direction? Uh, we may have, uh, but certainly we did it quicker. McDonald's hopes to replace the foam containers with paper in about six weeks.